Are you tired of sorting through a spider web of data in Excel spreadsheets? Don't worry, we've got the blueprint for you. Using Microsoft Excel, you can make an entity relationship diagram in no time. Hi there, welcome to Excel Demi, where you can learn to use Excel and solve Excel VBA related problems. I am Ishrak Kader and in today's video, I'll be discussing the step-by-step -step process of how to create entity relationship diagram. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. Before we begin, let's get ourselves up to speed on what is an Entity Relationship Diagram. In a nutshell, Entity Relationship Diagram, aka Database Model, is a visual representation of a database schema. It shows the different entities and their relationships between them. A typical Entity Relationship Diagram consists of three key components, Entity, attributes and relationships. An entity can be an unit, an object or any item in a database that has a unique identity. In our case, we have three entities, customer, order and product. Attributes describe each entity. Simply put, these are the properties of entities. Here, customer and order has five attributes while product has three attributes. Lastly, relationships are the ways in which the entities are linked. In the relationships spreadsheet, we have a list of all the relationships and their associated cardinality symbols. Now, we can move to the step-by-step -step process of making an entity relationship diagram. Step 1 is preparing the database. Let's assume we have a database consisting of the following tables. Customer information, order details, and product info in three separate worksheets. In the second step, we'll create the entities. To do this, I'll go to the ERD tables worksheet, then select B4 to C4 cells. In the alignment group, I'll choose Marge and Center. Press F2 to enter the cell and type Customer. We can format the entity table header by increasing its font size to 12 and choosing any fill color according to our preference. In this case, I'll select a light shade of blue. I'll also bold the text. Now, I'll select this cell and insert a border. I'll choose outside border. Select the B5 to B9 cells. Also select outside border. And lastly, I'll choose the C5 to C9 range and select all borders. Afterward, we'll copy this entity table by pressing Ctrl C and paste it in the E4 cell by pressing Ctrl V. Again, in the H4 cell by pressing Ctrl V. In the E4 cell, I'll rename it to Order. While in the H4 cell, I'll rename it to Product. Since our product entity table has only three attributes, so we can clean up its border by selecting no border and then choosing the last cell, I'll select the bottom border. Then that's it. We've successfully created the entities. In the third step, we'll add the attributes associated to each entity. I'll go to the C5 cell, press equal, type transpose. Now I'll head back to the customer worksheet and select the B4 to F4 range. Close the parentheses, press enter. We'll automatically get all the attributes of customer. Since each customer has a unique account number, so I'll add PK, which is short for primary key beside account number. In the same way, extract the attributes of the order entity table. Go to the F5 cell, press equal, type transpose. Go to the orders worksheet, select the B4 to F4 range, close the parentheses, press enter. Again, I'll add PK beside order number since each order number is unique. However, the account number is a primary key of the customer entity table. Since it also appears in the order table, therefore, I'll type FK, which stands for foreign key. Lastly, I'll add the attributes of the product entity table. Go to the I5 cell, press equal, type transpose. Head to the products worksheet 
and select the B4 to D4 range. Close the parentheses, press enter. Since each product number is unique, so I'll write PK beside it, which stands for primary key. And that's it, we've added all the attributes to our entity relationship diagram. In the fourth step, we'll show the relationships of the entities. Since a customer can place multiple orders, so the cardinality between customer and order will be one to many. To show this, I'll go to the relationships worksheet, select the cardinality symbol for one, press Ctrl C to copy it, head to the ERD tables and press Ctrl V to paste it. Now I'll drag the shape in position. Again, I'll go to the relationships worksheet, choose the relationship cardinality for many, press Ctrl C to copy it and Ctrl V to paste it. Now I'll drag the shape in position. Lastly, we have to insert a connecting line. So I'll go to the insert tab. In the illustrations drop down, I'll click shapes and select line. Hold down the shift key and draw a straight line. Click the shape outline and choose a color according to your preference. Here I'll select black Again, click the shape outline and adjust its weight to 1.5 points. Make any necessary adjustments so that the shapes align perfectly. On the other hand, a single order can have many products and a single product can get multiple orders. Hence, the cardinality between order and product will be many to many. I'll go to the relationships worksheet Select the cardinality symbol for many, click Ctrl C to copy it, head back to the ERD tables worksheet and press Ctrl V to paste it. Then I'll drag the shape in position. Again, I'll press Ctrl V to make another copy. Then I'll go to the shape format tab. In the right hand corner, we can see the rotate option. I'll flip it horizontally. And now I can drag it in position and make sure that the two shapes align perfectly. That's it. We've established the relationships between the entities. In the fifth and final step, we'll complete our entity relationship diagram by selecting the B4 to I9 range. Then press Ctrl C to copy it. Go to the B11 cell. Then in the paste option, select paste as picture. That's it. We've created an entity relationship diagram in Excel in just five steps. It's that simple. Don't forget to download the practice workbook from the video description. Try it out for yourself. It's a great way to improve your Excel skills. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any queries, suggestions or feedback, leave a comment down below. For more information, you can also visit exceldemi.com. To see more helpful content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hope to see you next time. Bye!